Hello, wonderful people of PixArt again. I am back for another how-to tutorial today, and I'm super excited. I'm Abby Lee, I'm the photographer and photo editor here at PixArt, and today I am really excited to bring to you something that a lot of people think are complicated is complicated, but it's totally not complicated, and I'm gonna show you just how uncomplicated it is. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna be talking about the curves tool today. So. Really, really excited to bring this to you. A lot of people kind of avoid it. They think it's a little bit out of their, their realm, but I'm gonna show you like super simple how easy it is to kind of like figure it out and play with it and do your own little edits and just like how to use it simply and then how to use it a little bit more in depth. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to resituate my camera here. And as always, Ali's gonna help me with any comments that you might have. And this is the image I decided to work with today. And super excited. Uh, to, the way you get into your curves tool is to go into the tools right here at the bottom. And it's gonna say curves. So this is what we're gonna get started with. Um, what I'm gonna explain real quick, this uh, little symbol over here on the left hand corner, RGB is the color we're gonna be working with uh, in which is red, greens, and blues. And you'll see that right there. Our top one right here is actually just highlights. So up on what curves is, uh, <clears throat> the right hand of your screen is going to be light. So I'm gonna drag that down, see how it brings out the, the uh, brings down the highlights. And then the left bottom part of your screen is going to be shadows. And so if you drag that up, it's gonna bring up the darks. So just like that, you can kind of see. And then the cool thing about our cur curves tool, you can tap anywhere and create your own kind of balance here. So if you see, um, I can create different points. And that was just like in a very, very, very short amount of time that I created that. Also, the cool thing is with this is that you can uh, do the return button up at the very top. That gets rid of everything you just did. And then there's also the trash can down here in the bottom. So I just created a point here and I don't want it to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the trash can. That's basically how you get rid of it. So again, you can manipulate your highlights and your lowlights. So low lights are down on the left, highlights are up on the right. And then if you don't want those points, then you can easily delete them. You have to tap on it and it has to be highlighted before you can delete it. Anyway, so I'm gonna kind of show you the cool way to work with this um, and create like interesting backgrounds. Also just kind of explore like the way I go about this. Um, so with this particular one, I'm gonna show you how to do an edit and I wanna make the background like hot pink. So. I'll go ahead and show you by taking out some blues and adding in some reds um, and just kind of manipulating the photo, how you can get the desired effect that I want. And like I said, you guys can totally 100% play around with this because a lot of it is just trial and error, especially depending on which photo you have. So right now I kind of like this, it's kind of muting the blues. So basically I'm just taking out some blues and adding some blues to highlights and lowlights. And then I'm gonna go into my reds I'm gonna bring it up to here. I'm gonna bring this down. And that kind of shows a little bit of blue. Kind of intense, crazy, I love it. So I just did two tint pinpoints here. I like what I have there with the, and it also shows the history of what you do. So I'm gonna go back into blues. You can see the history of what I got going there. Like I said, just always, and you have to just double tap to get to um, open up your actual screen of colors. So I wanna go into my reds. That's kind of what I'm working with in this one. And I've played around with this so I know what I want. Um, feel free to kind of manipulate the photo, like bring it up, bring it down. Um, so basically I'm taking reds out of the low lights there and basically canceling them out, which is why that looks like that. I obviously don't want that for this, so I'm gonna trash can that. Then I'm gonna go into greens and I'm gonna bring that down here. And I really love this vibrant effect. This is awesome. I love this edit. Now, I don't want her to kind of look like a robot like that, and I don't want her to be completely 100% um, pink. So I'm gonna go into the eraser tool up here. And this is just making a fun edit of just like being able to show you what you can do with colors in PixArt. Um, and you can easily manipulate them with curves. So feel free to kind of 
play around with that. You can do so many artistic things. Um, it's one of my favorite tools to play around with. And basically, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to erase the areas that I don't want to have manipulated. I just want it to be a normal colored photo um, on her skin tone. So, and then like always, if you do a little bit too much, you can easily undo or you can hit the brush up in the top and kind of re go over areas that you, you canceled out a little bit too much. So super simple, but you can see how easy it is to create kind of a more of a unique um, edit. And I always just mess with my brush size. For this one, I actually do have the hardness up increased a little bit just because I really want to fine tune what I'm erasing. So that's pretty much all I'm doing. I'm going to go down to her legs and to get rid, to collapse this toolbar, you just touch on the eraser tool. It'll collapse that. If you need it, you can easily retouch it and it'll pop right back up again. So as you see guys, the curves tool really is not hard to use at all. Uh, feel free to experiment, feel free to kind of play around with it. And also you can use it super simply just to do highlights and to increase your highlights and increase your lowlights or to just kind of mute your image a little bit more. So I really like how this is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and check mark there. And then to get back to my highlights, I'm going to, to get back to my highlights, what I'm gonna do is um, tap here. My head, headphone just fell out. So I'm gonna go to my highlights, which is the top one, which is just red, green, and blue. And I'm going to go ahead and um, bring this up. So I'm gonna create a pinpoint here, bring this up, and do it just like that. So I like a little bit high. You can also manipulate it. I mean, you can go crazy with this stuff, guys. Look at how vibrant I can do this here. So like, feel free to play around. And like I said, if you don't wanna have that pinpoint, just delete it with a trash can, delete it there. I like the way this looks because it kind of has this metallic effect on her um, there, and I really like that effect. And then you can always tap on it and see what it looked like before. I mean, look how easy that is. You can totally create amazing um, colors and different backdrops. Like you can do this on uh, wilderness um, and landscape. Like it, it, it's just the coolest tool that you can use. Um, you just need to know how to use it. And I just showed that to you guys. So uh, yeah, that's kind of what I want to work with today. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And then as always, what you can do is you can go into effects. If you want to do effects on it, you can do, you know, any of the effects we have. I love them, love them, love them. They're all so cool. My personal favorite every week, I know I say, is Dodger. I love it. For this particular edit, I'm not going to use anything today because I think that's just cool in itself. So I'm going to go ahead and post. And as always, I'm going to do free to edit. And because I like to see you guys kind of work with the images that I create, created. And I'm going to say edited with PixArt. Um, and then hashtag PixArt. Oops. And feel free to share, share, share. Um, definitely create your own edits. I want to see them. So post away. Uh, send me a message. I want to see kind of what you guys can create. I'm going to go ahead and post this. And voila. I'm also going to bring this back up to my face here in two short seconds. And here you guys are again. So, I mean, as always, like that was super simple to do. Like you think that it's a little bit harder because it's kind of scary. You don't really know what you're working with, but it's so simple to use. Like the curves tool is endless possibilities as long as you know how to use it. And that's why I wanted to show it to you today. And as always, if you guys can't wait, we have our Instagram, we have our blog. And if you ever want me to create anything for you guys, if you have a particular edit that you want to see, or a particular way to do anything and you don't know how to do it, please comment down below, go to our Twitter account, which is PixArt Studio and talk to me. I would love to show you new edits weekly. Um, as always, I'm here at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every single Wednesday. And I look forward to bringing you a new edit next week. Bye.